We have a rainy Saturday morning, so I finally, we've got a rainy Saturday morning. Sports were canceled for the day, so I finally have some time to figure out what's going on with the Sunseeker Orion X. So for the first couple weeks, this mower worked flawlessly. Then I started having a problem, which I detailed in a comparison video, um, that I was getting stripes in the lawn. Originally, I thought these stripes were cut grass and uncut grass, like the cutting heads were turning off. Um, but after I kept observing it, I think what was really happening is the deck height was changing. I've got it on the workbench. We're gonna take it apart and see if there's a mechanical failure. The other thing we're going to look at is battery replacement. Is the battery replaceable on this? Um, it's not obvious from Sunseeker. They don't sell a replacement battery and tell you how to do it, but there's got to be a way to get that battery out of there and replace it. I've never worked on one of these, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to take it apart to access the control here. There's a couple hinges on the front of this cutting deck, and it looks like there's a couple springs back there that uh, provide some tension, and there must be a mechanism that kind of lowers the back of this um, based on the front hinges. So we gotta figure out what's going on there. It looks like there's a decent amount of grass packed on top of this thing, so that might be an issue. Maybe it just needs to be cleaned out. There's some binding going on. Um, originally, I was thinking to take off the gray outer cover, but looking at it, this uh, black pan kind of extends all the way over the top of this cutting deck, so that won't grant us any access, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to start with taking the cutting heads off and see if there's anything obvious there that we can help um, get access to the top of this cutting deck. Voila, there's some screws under here. We're on the right track. Oh, look, there was a slug living under there. Mr. Slug. Oh boy. There's a mouse under there too. All right, I gotta turn the camera off. I don't wanna scream like a girl. We've eliminated the mouse. Let's get back to clean it up. There was a decent amount of grass packed behind here. I don't think that was the mouse making its nest. It looked like it was naturally packed in there just from use as the mower. I don't see any other foreign objects and thankfully I don't see any wires that are nibbled on yet. Um, so maybe the mouse was just a coincidence. Also on top of this shroud, there was a lot of packed in grass. So maybe it was just bound up there was a decent amount on here. We can see the springs. I think those pre-tension um, the device up. And it looks like this little assembly, this rope and pulley assembly is what actually controls the deck height. So we should be able to pop this out and swing the deck down and take a look on top. Yeah, I can do it with my fingers. That was a little tricky in this rope there's a loop and this pin 
it goes through the center of that pin. So this doesn't come all the way out. You retract it, get that loop around the pin, and then push it out. But we're free now. The way this system looks to me, it relies on the weight of this. When the winch provides some slack, the whole assembly kind of floats down. If it hits something, it's allowed to move back up. Um, but the lowest depth is controlled by how much slack is on the winch. So I'm wondering if that grass didn't bind this system up, if it's not doing this freely and the weight of the system allowing it to come down, um, if it just got stuck at different heights. I don't know. So that is the case. This is a battery or this is a gravity controlled system. Those spring tensions cause that deck to come down with the lim with it limited by that winch system. And of course, I took off the cutting heads and this piece so the weight is a little bit off. But now that we know that, I feel more comfortable that that grass packed up in there was likely just preventing that floating of the deck. There's not a lot of it, it's just gravity pulling that down. And as you can see, it's balanced pretty tightly with that spring tension. It's not whew, a hard, it, it very much floats. So I think that's all it was, just that grass packed up in there. Now, should the design allow that to happen? Probably not. So. Maybe it's just a matter of getting this up on the bench, clearing out that grass occasionally. It's just something you're gonna have to live with with this mower. Let's see if I can get this rope. That was a little tricky, um, but there is okay visibility here. I used the Allen wrench and was able to kind of poke that rope around the plastic pin there and get it back into place. You can see that's what's restricting this whole mower assembly from coming down with gravity. On a whole side note, these DeWalt tools have been flawless, except the detent in the driver doesn't work all the time. It's frustrating, and then that falls out. I should probably try to take this apart and figure that out. see if we can locate the battery this is my guess for battery location makes sense that you keep the weight right close to the front axle and the main drive wheels so let's see what's in here Dun, 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 dun. There's the battery. Easy peasy, look at that. This is a 20 volt max, five amp hour battery. See it's made up of individual lithium ion cells. There's a little pigtail there. made by Sunseeker, so you should be able to buy a replacement from them pretty easily. Sunseeker LBF205. It's also a model number on there, so very easy to replace. And I would assume buy a bigger one, let's see.
Now if it could just stop raining so we could test it out. This is what I like to see, perfectly cut grass. The Orion is back in action cutting great. It was just those grass clippings packed into the height of cut mechanism that was preventing the gravity from pulling it down. So should the design allow that? Probably not. Hopefully future iterations get rid of that ability for the grass to get up there, but it was an overall easy fix to clean that out. So um, not a big deal. The company has been emailing me back and forth, trying to help me solve the solution. Uh, the latest, it was escalated to a service provider within the US and he asked for my phone number for a call. So that's a positive advancement. I haven't received that call yet, but I fixed it on my own so I can educate them on what's happening with their mowers out in the field. Because if it were a known issue, I think that would have been something they'd tell me to do right away, but they didn't. Thankfully that mouse in there didn't do any damage, didn't chew on anything, it must've been a short time where it was in there, didn't have any nest materials in there. So just a weird coincidence that a mouse had uh, found that to be a home, but I wasn't using the mower because it wasn't cutting good. So um, I guess he thought it was a nice dry place to hide out for a while. I received that call from Randy at Sunseeker today to walk through what the potential solves. I told him about cleaning the grass off the top of the deck and that resolving, seemingly resolving my issue. And so they were receptive to that. He didn't say that was a known issue, but was glad that I found some solution and also said that they have a known issue where um, if the grass encounters really thick grass, it spikes the cutting motor loads, it will tell the bot to raise up the deck to reduce the load on those motors to save them from overheating over current. So there's an update supposedly coming out this Friday, June 28th to increase those limits a little bit, make it less sensitive to that. So the mower deck will maintain its height more and they've realized that the current load or whatever they, uh, they have torque limit feedback um, to raise that a little bit so the mower deck won't raise up in those instances. It's good that they have that you know if you hit a rock or a stick or something like that it'd be nice that the mower deck raises up before you burn your motors out but it shouldn't do it um, with grass and i wouldn't say any of my mowing has been um, i'm mowing every couple days so the grass isn't getting out of hand at all but it's great to have that dialogue i have randy's contact information now he's a very nice guy like i said based in the u.s um, so the company's trying that's awesome well, I'm glad we solved this one. I do really like this mower. It's back in full action. I just have to put this in my maintenance plan to clean on the top of that mower deck occasionally. Thanks for watching. Adios. So the Orion's finishing up its first complete mow job after i cleaned off the top of the deck and it seems all is well the update should just improve things that much further i did also ask randy about replacement batteries so sunseeker is going to provide them again it's just early on these machines are fairly new there shouldn't be much of a demand for that but he said that will be added to their website shortly they didn't have a firm timeline or a price for those replacement batteries but it is something they're planning on offering and you can install a larger battery in your base machine. I believe he referenced an eight, an eight and 10 amp hour battery. So uh, potentially you could double the size of the battery that you've got in your base. Orion X7, it's just gonna obviously take longer to charge, um, but your time between charges would also improve.